on, man. Phone. Thurman, uh, I called it. <laughs> yeah, you did. Now, you made this uh, beautiful thing that I made right before this video just to express the amount of which that I called it. Uh, just to remind these lovely viewers of the last video. Uh, at the end, I was like, it's probably a blacklight. And then Thurman didn't even know what a blacklight was. So we had to explain to him what a blacklight was. And then, and then I was like, you know what? He probably fucking rubbed shit on her feet. Because Senku wouldn't just tackle her only for her to have escaped the next fucking panel. So he rubbed some shit on, his, on the feet. I did it. I'm a smart. Proud of myself. <laughs> but yeah. All that aside, um, I give me the say, props, fuck. <laughs> I always give you your props, man. Oh, I was, I was about to, I was about to go off my the I'm black side. I'm a storytelling genius. <laughs> <clears throat> so no, but this chapter was actually fucking awesome. Like th this series, every fucking week, it's just showing me that I should have put my faith in this series and not fucking Promise Neverland. <laughs> Get fucking wrecked promise never i will continue to wreck you until you fucking step your game up uh, that's great that is just amazing <laughs> yeah hashtag black clover better than promise neverland i don't know about that one uh we'll have to uh, I, I, mm, uh, I, I, I not asta but like i i haven't i'm not like caught up and david's been telling me it gets better david i want your thoughts on this Come, Switch, switch your mic back on. Current oh. Promise Neverland, this arc, the shitty arc, versus the best parts of Black Clover. What's better? <laughs> you want my honest opinion? Oh god, it's gonna get... Mm, go ahead. Fight-wise, plot-wise, I will give a little bit of an edge to uh, fucking Black Clover. Oh my god. I never thought How I, mighty have fallen. I I never thought those words would come out of my mouth, but I I will give Black Clover props. It does at least utilize his entire fucking cast and flesh out its fucking cast. Yeah, uh, Promise Neverland's been giving me giving me more and more of a sour taste. Ever, but anyway, let's not get too off track. This is a video for Doctor Stone, and the reason I'm bringing it up is because Doctor Stone has been doing everything that I wanted Promise Neverland to do. Uh, so. I kind of want to make like a meme now. I want to do like an edit where like like I find like a scene from like a movie or an anime where someone's just like, oh fucking uh the meme you know the meme I meet meme where it's like ora 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 and he's in the clock tower. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put Doctor Stone promise Neverland. <laughs> oh baby, if so you don't um... laugh. If you don't laugh at something that I stupidly find funny, it makes my finding of that funny even more cringe. Like, if I was watching this video, I would have clicked off right there. Thank you. Cringe Thank you. every now and then. This is bad. All right, let's talk about this chapter. So, let's talk about this conference. This, the first thing I want to talk about is this uh, com uh, uh, conversation. The killing between, conversation? Yes. It's yeah. fucking... It's just fucking amazing, yo. It's my, one, of my, one of my favorite parts is, is Senku was just like, have we ever killed another human being? You think it's gonna be all serious, everything like that? And she's just like, "Of course not." Okay, that, can I tell you a funny story about this? So I was reading this in in landscape mode on my phone, right? So it's sideways, and when I clicked the page, the first thing I saw be because you know how not is at the bottom. I thought mm -hmm. she said, "I thought she just said, of course, <laughs> <laughs> literally." And because because to me that made total sense. I was like, they live in like a caveman esque society where killing was like super normalized. So at first, mm -hmm. I straight up thought it was gonna be like, Ko Kohaku, have you ever killed anyone? And she's like, of course I have. <laughs> like I really thought that that was what it said for a second. I was dying. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, honestly, honestly, I didn't. I was just like speed, speed having its way with me here. I uh, I honestly just thought, of course. But then I saw the knot there, so I thought the author was trying. You to did too. Me. Yeah, I thought the author was trying to trick us into saying, like, oh my gosh, she has. That would have, I actually kind of, I think that would have been cool because I, I still think that makes more sense for the type of uh, civili civilization they live in, you know, lawless. And, but either way, it, I still love this series. It doesn't make, but like, yeah, no, considering like for like five seconds, I thought that she said, of course. I was like, whoa. Um, but yeah, no, but this entire conversation is just fantastic. Um, and, uh, Let's see. We're, we're, go ahead and finish what you're saying about it. Uh, yeah. So it's I liked uh 
how it was just very um it was just a very very like it's because she you have to remember that she's technically like one of the main fighters she's like one of the strongest people they have so it's and, and he basically is the strongest people yeah, have. yeah and what, what makes it even better is that she knows that she would hesitate when it comes to killing people so she kind of mm-hmm. like knows this so it's kind of like a bit of a character development there in the oh yeah and I, I loved that moment too because this is something that that we've talked about you know you have like like I've even had this conversation at, at my job where like you have you know the stereotypical conservative Republican type who are like I, I own twenty guns. If someone broke into my house, I'd kill him immediately. You know what I mean? And I just can't do that. Like I understand where they're coming from. Obviously, like it's like a don't take chances if someone's in your house. I get that, and they're not wrong if they're in their house. I get it. I get where you're coming from. I couldn't do it. I couldn't live with myself for killing anyone, no matter you know what they were doing. I've even always said to myself, like I would probably shoot the kneecaps before like shooting the person's head or anything. Um, but like, and, and of course, I understand that in the moment it gets a lot more scary. But I like this conversation because I totally get where she's coming from. Because it's just it's a terrifying thought to end a life, uh, especially someone like uh, H- Homura. Is that how we say her name, Homura? Yeah. Especially someone like her who really isn't like not innocent. You know what I mean? They're both just fighting for their own ideals and she seems like a nice enough person. You know what I mean? And she's just yeah. fighting for what she be- they're both just fighting for what they believe is right. You know what I mean? It's not like she's taking any life of her own either. Uh, now, I suppose she does work for someone who's going around crushing these statues, so it's it's kind of a gray zone, but yeah, I, I get where she's coming from. <laughs> yes, yeah, Sukasa's that uh, fuckboy murderer. Oh, I can't wait. Dude, I want to see Su- Sukasa should be interesting when they're actually like, facing him down with him. It would be lit to see what's going on with that. And hopefully off screen that uh, the first main character died. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, Probably. oh, what happened to him? Oh, I uh, fell down some stairs. <laughs> and by some stairs, I mean a cliff because we <laughs> there's no stairs. <laughs> okay, One Piece. No, I want like a Looney Tune style thing where it just shows Tsukasa just like, hey, uh, hey, uh, look down that cliff there. I think I saw something. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> You're evil. Okay. So, continuing on here. And they, uh, uh, actually, oh, ooh, I really like this part. We're gonna, we're gonna skip it here. See, I, I love how Homer does just, they, they're putting so much de- development into this character. Oh, yeah. Like, Thing, bro, it's just like one of my favorite parts. I'm, I'm gonna skip. I'm sorry. I'm skipping. No, that's fine. We'll skip We're around. Skipping, right? skip about so, fucking, so, so she realizes that she has the fucking thing on her. So she erases it, which is fucking beautiful. And yeah, then, which is again really good for. Her. And that makes sense because she's clearly not an idiot. She seemed. To, I still have a, an assumption that she was probably a. She seems like a top of her class type person. So obviously not not nearly as smart as Senku, but she seems to be generally smart. Yeah. Like uh, like um. The kid who, one of those kids in class who, she are, seems like who, one of those girls that like really impressed her parents. Like, we're so proud of you. You're top of your class. You're you're doing this in gymnastics. You're gonna get a scholarship for this, that, or the other thing. And then she's like, "Fuck you, mom. You don't understand me. Society doesn't understand me." That's so she's edgy, essentially. She seems like us. Yeah, like because again, she seems like top of the class, but she doesn't like the way society is run, which is why I think that she's uh, teaming up with Tsukasa here. You said Sakasa is his name? I always forget his fucking name. Yeah. I don't want to fuck it up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But one of my favorite parts is actually towards the, uh, towards the like end of the chapter here. We see, so I, at first I thought, oh my God, they fucked up. That, that's, that was my first, uh, like, <laughs> in, instance when, when, uh, no. when again got caught with the fucking thing. No, see, I gotta be honest. I and, and it's gonna sound like I'm 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 like bullshitting you to sound smart. I right when they were like talking so like because they were literally being like, "Oh, you want me to set it up here?" Yes, I was like, they know the problem. I don't believe for a fucking because like the panel before you had him doing Morse code so that they wouldn't have to talk out loud. You know, you got to think about these sermons. There's hints towards the fact that they wouldn't be that stupid. So like, I was like, "There's no way," because the the. Two fucking panels ago, they're Morse coding, so they don't got to talk out loud. And now they're like, you want me to set up the radio wave thing over here? Yeah, okay. So, no, it's, <laughs> I was pretty sure that it was fuckery going on. <laughs> yeah, so I was, I was just like. It's your speed. Uh, was... Your speed is getting to you. <laughs> Comprehension like... has to come in. <laughs> the speed, so, 
I thought it was just boosting past her. I was like, oh, no, they fucked up. And then she was just like, and then we see uh, <laughs> this middle panel with her just boosting up. And that, and that one panel right there, uh, sorry, I had a dirty mind. They made me think of something. Which one? That was, that, that's, that's the struggle. That, that's Which panel? One, the one uh, on page 17. The middle oh. panel when she's climbing the trees. Are you talking about when she, when when like the thing falls on her piece of no, the no, tree? No, no, no. No, she's like, I can destroy it now. This is a golden opportunity. Down there, like the, the small part. No, no, no. The middle part. Yeah, where she's like swinging on the on the tree branch. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. I mean, yeah. There's a very sex side leg shot. What are you talking about? No, but but her her facial expression. Um, explain to me what made you think sexually about this. Uh, how is it that this this hold on a second this this scene of her swinging on a tree branch very clearly her gymnastics that makes you think oh my god sexual but you completely missed the whole Kohaku literally seeing her vagina last chapter <clears throat> because I, no I didn't miss that I just didn't yes, know you did. Was, were, go back to the video you were like what no, we I was in the wrong page. That was all it is. I was just in the wrong page. That's all it mm-hmm. is. Yeah, okay. But doesn't it, like... Please, do like, tell, Thurman. <laughs> it proves that my dirty mind is different from everyone Bro, else's. Dude, I also doesn't have a dirty mind, and every time I look for like... her... Look, look, look at the side shot, okay? look. She's got one of them outfits on where, like, you see, like, you basically can see her ass cheeks. It's good. I, I am 100% with you on the fact that She's sexy and her outfit's sexy. I don't see what you're seeing here. Doesn't doesn't this, doesn't doesn't her face look like the face of satisfaction after a good night sex with her husband? Right? What just, the was, fuck, was just... Thurman? <laughs> right? Like it's been a long day. You, uh, you come home. You come home, and then you and your husband have some great, great, great making love, and then that's the sat. Then that's the that's the. I love my life type thing, you know? I'm so glad you're being open with me because most people wouldn't say this shit. Uh, listen, Thurman, as someone who just came back from Incredibles 2, the scene where she's losing oxygen in the fucking plane and she was, like, breathing really hard, my first thought was, this is sexual as fuck. She's breathing hard and she's flushing and the blood's rushing to her face. I've been there. I did not see it in this panel. I got to be honest, but I see where I know where you're coming from. I see that. I see that in a lot of faces. Anytime a character's breathing hard, trust me, I'm there with you. Not for this one though. Honestly, she just seems to be very like, oh fuck, I got to get up there. But uh, I'm glad. Thank you for sharing. You can sit back down <laughs> in your desk. Just a moment. And that, and this is the part <laughs> where the teacher writes the letter to the principal, like we can give Thurman some extra. Pay. <laughs> oh my god, guys. Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> anyway, yes, she's a very attractive woman, and uh, I'm jealous of Kuhaku from last chapter. He's seen all. Uh, but no, yeah, they, they made up, they made a shitty fake for her, and then they start fucking chopping the tree that she's climbing Lumberjacks. down. Lumberjacks! That, Lumberjacks! That's pretty amazing. Uh, you know, and I love that, I still love that he's, that this author is giving a good like giving good jobs to these like strong the strong men, you know what I mean? Like he didn't just mm-hmm. like throw them out after their arc was done. You know, I really love that they have their own little jobs and that's cool. And I like too that she basically assumed that she was gonna die here. Did you, did you notice? Yeah. Farewell, yeah. Now, oh see, my if you God. want if you want the panel where I started having dirty thoughts, it's the one where Kohaku caught her. There's a whole lot of leg. It's a whole lot of women leg, and it's just oh my God, you just you, you shipped them already, don't you? I mean, I don't know if I ship them. I don't really have much in common or anything that would make them in love. <laughs> I ship rationally, Thurman. I don't just say these characters have touched, therefore they want to fuck. I look for characters that would complement each other, bring out the best in each other, and live a beautiful life. <laughs> they have Salute entirely me. different ideals, so I doubt it. You know, uh, a little off topic here, but uh, someone uh, pushed the notion of Bonnie cross Luffy as a ship 
Oh my god, just because she showed up in the last chapter and she's a woman, that's all the whole reason. <laughs> no, because they both like to eat. Oh my god! <laughs> what Luffy, why do you love your wife? Oh, you know, we both like to eat. And we kinda just get on my we get, we get along by that alone. God. Oh my god. I honestly don't think Luffy's too stupid. I don't. I don't see him. I don't see how he can be with anyone. Because like when I'm look, I, and and it's hard for me to like get out of my own bubble of what I look for. But what I look for is someone intelligent that I can have like conversations with, like a long conversations with. Uh, and I just I don't see that in Luffy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like so, like mm-hmm. I personally don't see like any redeeming qualities in a relationship from someone like Luffy. But anyway, I don't want to get too off of uh, Doctor Stone here. But um, <laughs> but, yeah, one, like a uh, guest star since there's no One Piece this week. We should well we'll we'll have a we should have like a I, I kind of want to film a, like a theory or discussion to replace that video. But it, we'll, we'll we'll figure it out. But anyway, moving on. Um, so chapter they get the cell phone there. Um, and obviously, just to cover everything we didn't talk about, you know, the, the black light, the powder, that was cool. They get the cell phone there. Is there anything else we're missing talking about here? Uh, one thing, one thing I'm really interested in is, um, I'm kind of, I, I like how, uh, so I don't know if, if the author kind of stated if time went by, but judging by how far each side is, I mean, it must have been, it doesn't seem like the village is too far from the Sukasa Empire, or at least, because um, we saw the night. Like, I gotta try to look at the map. Oh, okay, well, here's a map. There's a map that I don't know. Like maybe a day or half day trip, possibly. I, I'm gonna guess it would have to be at least a half a day. If they were that close, it's weird. I can't see it being more than a day. So yeah, I uh, yeah, I wish they would have clarified how long that took. Yeah. Because I mean, we we see in but here's a map. Here's a map. I mean. It's like across a good chunk. Of... Hmm. Because a whole day went by, a whole day went by, and they and and once morning hits, they essentially reach it. So if we estimate that they they didn't take a break, I would say like just from round, just from full trip with no breaks, half a day, I believe. Yeah, that sounds about right. Also, I do want to, I, I did want to bring up the scene too. I love every time, every time someone that isn't like in Senku's kingdom, kingdom of science sees and reacts to the shit they have. I love seeing the react. Like, I love her being like, how the fuck do they have radio waves? <laughs> like, I love that shit. Because <laughs> like anyone else that's not Senku, because like, literally like, like put yourself back at like chapter one. It's like, how in God's name do you get to fucking a, a cell phone like device from nothing? And only really only someone like Senku could do that. So like I, I believe that Homara is a smart person, but I think that she's smart in the sense that like, you know, like me or David are. Like we're smart, but we're not like genius. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> so like she I think she sees this and she's like, how? Fucking how? <laughs> And that's like why, me, I think that's why that, that face that you found sexual wasn't sexual to me, because I was looking at it as a how, like fucking how face. <laughs> <laughs> it was a panic, which is the opposite of a fulfilling orgasm. <laughs> I mean, make different faces when orgasm stuff, who knows? Yeah, huh. Oh, please. Sermon. Make- Thurman, uh, well, well, please just describe to me your orgasm. <laughs> you know what? Don't. What don't. the fuck? Please don't. don't. You know what? End the video. Done. Goodbye. Peace.